An intel brief from not too long ago showed confirmed weapons that are available to us in Washington DC. The intel got updated and showed us more weapons and how they were categorized. Being part of the SHD comes with its benefits. Besides top of the line skills and gear you have a choice of the finest weaponry. Let's see what there is in store. While you're able to equip two primary weapons as well as a sidearm, you'll be able to pick from seven weapon classes, not counting signature weapons. Those classes are rifles, assault rifles, submachine guns, light machine guns, shotguns, marksman rifles and sidearms. A lot, if not all, of the weapons from New York have made their way to DC. On top of that there are some new weapons unseen before. One disclaimer beforehand, while the weapons have been confirmed to be available in DC, the weapons with an asterisk next to it haven't had their name confirmed. On top of that there are still weapons that might appear in the full release of the game, thinking of exotic weapons. The first category, the first class of weapons, are the rifles. Although the weapons aren't new, the class itself hasn't been introduced. This, this class includes semi-automatic and burst rifles, where the assault rifles will contain the automatic ones. These will now have their own weapon bonus, it being increased critical hit damage. Footage of field intel confirms the 1886, ACRSS, Classic M1A, Competition LAR-15, which is modeled after the lightweight M4, LVOAC, M16A2, M1A CQB, Urban MDR, Military MK17, 6716, 6716 CQB, SOCOM M1A, and the USC.45 ACP. Moving on to the assault rifles, there are a lot of classics returning as well as new ones introduced. This time around, assault rifles have increased health damage as a weapon bonus. We have the ACRE, AKM, AUG A3 CQB, Black Market AKM, CTAR 21, Custom P416 G3, F2000, FAMAS 2010, FAL, FAL SA58, FAL SA58 Para, G36 Enhanced, Military AKM, Military G36, Military P416, MK16, Police M4, and the SOCOM MK16. The third category on this list, but the second most used overall, are the submachine guns. Once again, classic returning and at least one new SMG introduced. As a bonus, they have increased critical hit chance. This class contains the Black Market TA21, Converted SMG9, Enhanced PP19, MP5ST, MP5A2, MP5N, MP7, MPX, P90, which is a new one, Police TA21, PP19, Tactical UMP45, Tactical Vector SBR 9mm, Tommy Gun, Vector SBR.45 ACP, and the Vector SBR 9mm. And then we have the light machine guns. They haven't seen any new additions yet, still they hold on to their increased damage to targets out of cover with the confirmed LMGs being the Black Market RPK-74E, Classic M60, Classic RPK-74, Infantry MG5, M249B, MG5, Military L86 LSW, Military M60E4 and the Military MK46. And to alternate between long and close range, it can be smart to equip a shotgun. This class contains a lot of shotguns we already know and love, and introduces a new one. This time around, shotguns will have increased melee damage as a class bonus. We have the ACS-12, which is a variant of the Showstopper, Black Market SASG-12S, Custom M870 MCS, Double Barrel Shotgun, the Lullaby, which is an exotic variant of SPAS-12, M870 Express, Marine Super 90 Shotgun, Military M870, Military M90 Shotgun, SASG-12, SPAS-12, Super 90 and the Tactical SASG-K. The Marksman Rifle category is peculiar as it has both bolt action and semi-automatic rifles. It shares a lot of similarities with the rifle category. The handling however is significantly worse but in turn the damage is much higher. On top of that their class bonus is increased headshot damage. Field Intel confirmed Classic M44 Carbine, Covert SRS, Hunting M44, M700, 
M700 Carbon, M700 Tactical, Paratrooper SVD, SRS A1, SR1, SOCOM MK20 SSR, and the Surplus SVD. Moving on to the 7th category and the final one, the sidearms. We have many more sidearms confirmed as opposed to last time. So far we have confirmed the 585 Magnum, the D50 which is a Desert Eagle variant, the first wave PF45, the first wave X45, Glock 18C, M1911, Military M9, Police 686 Magnum, PX4 Storm Type F, R93 and X45. Many classic weapons returning, many new weapons introduced and many weapons categorized in different classes. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed or used the guide I would like to ask you to like or dislike, share, subscribe and click the notification bell to become part of the Masterminds HD community and notification squad. On top of that you can follow me on Twitter for daily updates and join my Discord if you're looking for an engaged community that revolves around Tom Clay's Division 1 and 2. Both links are in the description. Visit my Patreon page through the link in the description if you're interested in weapon blueprints once I'm gonna start making weapon guides. Other than that, I also make intel briefings on the different factions and characters, as well as gear blueprints. To end the video, I have a question for you. When entering Washington DC, what two primary weapons and sidearm will you equip? After testing out the weapons, my standard arsenal will consist of the SPAS-12, Police M4 and 686 Magnum. It's a little bit new, a little bit old, but overall very effective. Leave your answer in the comment section down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. I'll talk to you in the next video on Discord or on Twitter. Peace out.